Welcome everybody to this week's edition of Valpo Football Preview along with head coach Dave Cicchini. This is Todd Eichel and uh, we'll start off uh, before we look ahead to the conference season getting ready to go this week against San Diego and uh, I don't know if you want to call it a warm-up or a tune-up or whatever took place on Saturday. It was a mismatch and you guys did what you needed to do uh, to get some guys uh, actual game we experience did. Did. And, and kind of move on. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, College of Faith was a game that, again, we, we felt like we would have a distinct advantage going into the game. Uh, but it was nice to go out there and, and execute in all three phases of the game. Uh, it was certainly our cleanest game to date. We didn't have to use a timeout due to substitution issues. Uh, we didn't have any delay of games. Uh, mechanically, we went very, uh, it went very well. Um, administratively, it went well. And, and the kids went out and they executed. You know, they did what we were supposed to do. They fundamentally were better than they were in the first two weeks. Uh, uh, but the, they executed our schemes uh, better than they did in the first two weeks. And, and uh, uh, that coupled with the fact that we were able to play so many players against College of Faith, uh, I think it really uh, gives us some, some added experience and, and a little bit more confidence moving into the conference matchups. People might see 86 to nothing as the final. I think you, you ran it up. I think you did. You did all you could, right? You played freshmen almost the entire played, second half. We played half. everybody. And uh, uh, you know, Clark played the entire game of quarterback, but that was almost that you almost had no other option. Right, basically. exactly. You know, again, we wanted to save Jake Paliga's red shirt, so he, those were our two healthy quarterbacks for the game, and so Jake was kind of there for an emergency role. But uh, I think we only attempted three passes uh, in the third quarter and none in the fourth quarter, and, and we were just trying to run the clock out. Yeah. And we actually went to ten minute quarter for the fourth quarter, and and but we did. We got a lot of guys in, a lot of scout team players that got a chance to go out and score touchdowns and yeah. sack the quarterback, and, and they had a lot of fun. It was great. Yeah, yeah. kind of Floyd ran in two two sure. scores in the yeah. in the in the fourth quarter. You you played everybody, mm -hmm. and that's all you can do. Yep. Right. All right. Now you look ahead, and you've got a San Diego team that you hate to say the old we owe them one, mm -hmm. but you look back at what took place last year. You guys played a, a heck of a game in San Diego, and you ended up losing on a hail mary in the last play of the game. You may not talk about it this week. I don't know, but it's going to be in the players' minds. Oh, sure. Yeah, we're we're not going to disguise the fact that uh, you know we left that game, you know, feeling like we played one of our better games on the season, offensively, defensively, special teams, and uh, we played well enough to win. Uh, but uh, you know, shoot, San Diego made the plays at the end that they needed to make to win the game. So you know, hats off to them. But but still, that that that's a driving force. Uh, you know, this week moving forward, a lot of our players feeling like. You know, we had a real shot uh, to, to win, and, and uh, hopefully moving forward here, it's, it's something that motivates us to, to have a great week of practice. Now let's talk quarterbacks. Let's start with them. Mm -hmm. you know, they seem like every year, if a quarterback leaves, they bring another guy in, sure, and he's almost sure. as good. And they have a freshman who did throw four touchdowns in their last game. Yes. So, so although they lose a veteran quarterback, right. they've got a guy who obviously can still play. Yeah, they, they are not as experienced really on either side of the ball than they were a year ago, but they're certainly talented. You know, Obviously, the, the quarterback that you mentioned, they do have experience at the running back position, a number of guys back, uh, some, some offensive linemen and, and tight ends who are outstanding football players. And then they have a second quarterback that they bring in that's a little bit more of an athlete, so they will play too, and, and that causes you uh, uh, with all the different shifts and, and, and formations and things that they're going to throw at us uh, offensively. It's, it's going to be a challenge for our defense this week. All right, now let's look at your quarterback situation. Uh, Ryan Clark played the entire game. He got some game experience. First time really to get extensive game experience and, and played well. Uh, Dalton Stokes is, is, appears to be healthy enough to play. He did dress on mm -hmm. Saturday. Uh, so you've got two options there, it sounds like. Right, yes, uh, absolutely. We were very happy, very pleased with how Ryan did during the game. He did a great job uh, in terms of his reads and getting us in and out of the huddle and, and, and did a nice job on our zone read, read plays. Uh, so we, we were thrilled with how he was able to go out and perform. Uh, it's going to be interesting this week. It really is. It's as we sit and, and we game plan, and, and we just now started watching film uh, on San Diego. Uh, we're going to devise a game plan, and we're going to sit down and say, "Hey, hopefully both of these guys are healthy moving in. We feel like they're, they're going to be there. Both are options. Uh, both have proved themselves in the, in the heat of battle now, and, and have some experience under their their belt." Uh, but you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. You know, uh, which quarterback uh, we go with if we play two. Uh, if we do go with two, how do we do it? So that, that's a lot of things that on the offensive side of the ball as we game plan this week, we're going to have to iron those things out. Uh, you had a couple other guys who didn't play this week who uh, I know going forward will be playing. Alex Green sure. will be yes. no problem. He'll, yep. he'll be in action yeah, on he Saturday. Should be, he should be ready to go. I think you know he was another guy who we may have been able to put out there 
uh, but we just elected to, to hold out, you know, under the circumstances, the caliber of team that we were playing this past week. How about Brandon Hall? Has he played since week one? Right. The concussion, uh, he has uh, passed. Uh, he was out there uh, yesterday uh, running around. Uh, it's still not a definite, uh, uh, but it looks like we'll have him as well. Okay, before we go, how about two big keys coming into Saturday? Sure. I, I think uh, the, the big thing that we do uh, on the defensive side of the ball is force some turnovers. You know, get ourselves, get our offense uh, spots where we've got great field position. That was one of the, the, the keys why the score became as high as it was uh, this past week against College of Faith is there were so many short fields for the offense. We were taking the, uh, you know, the field, uh, starting our drive on our opponent's 15-yard line, 20-yard line, whatnot. And, and, and so if we can get some more of those uh, against an outstanding defense, it'll take some pressure off of our offense to have to drive uh, the length of the field, and, and, and they're certainly a talented defense. And, and although, you know, like their offense, they have graduated some good players. They just they're they're really really deep. Uh, you know, on the offensive side of the ball, uh, we have to hold on to the football. You know, we in our, our our losses at the beginning of the season, we've turned the ball over four times each game. Uh, against College of Faith, we had zero turnovers. Put the ball on the ground, had one uh, center quarterback exchange issue. Uh, we were able to recover that uh, and had a punt that uh, we, we struggled uh, to catch, but we fell on that as well. We've got to eliminate those types of mistakes. We can't give San Diego the type of field position that we're hoping to get by getting some turnovers. All right, big one on Saturday. Good luck, Coach. Great, thanks. For Head Coach Dave Cicchini, this is Todd Eitkow. Thanks for joining us this week on Valpo Football Preview.